Good morning break as we continue to march towards St. Patrick's Day in Savannah. A local theater group is hoping to capitalize on the Irish celebration and also help in the fight against human trafficking. The Savannah Repertory Theater is putting on the musical Once based on the Academy Award winning film by the same name. And this morning I am joined by the Savannah Rep Theater's Executive Artistic Director Ryan McCurdy and Julie Wade, the Executive Director of Theros Place to talk about the show, how this is going to help a great cause and perfect timing. We're doing a, a show that is based in Dublin around a Dublin street artist on the day before St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Yes, I think there was, we decided if we were going to do the belly of the beast, we should just dive right in. There's no better time to do this show. And when it was on Broadway, this was actually the weekend that did the best. So we thought, well, we'll bring it to Savannah at the same time and do the same. There you go. The, the perfect idea. I know for folks who may not remember the movie, it, it feels like it's been forever ago, but back in uh, what's 2007, yes. and it won an Academy Award for the, the song Falling Slowly, haunting metal, melody that just was a beautiful song that kind of carries throughout the entire story. Uh, the musical's a little bit different than the movie, but a lot of really good good tunes and things like that. Oh yeah, and Falling Slowly really is, it's the centerpiece of the whole show. And it's, it's, the, it's a song that has won every major award in multiple countries. And you hear it twice in the show, once as a uh, guy and girl figure it out together. And then you hear it again, spoiler alert, at the end, uh, <laughs> a after you've learned everything about these characters and, and what their journey is, yeah. And this is a, a connection here to, to what you're doing, uh, Julie, with Theros Place. Um, let's let's kind of get caught up. Uh, sure. You're, 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 you're pushing ahead to opening up uh, this summer. We are. We are developing a residential facility for survivors of human trafficking, girls aged 12 to 17. We are closing on a property this month and hope to be open this summer-ish, um, serving 12 girls who are survivors of human trafficking. And so we're really grateful for the partnership with Savannah Rep. Um, all proceeds, for, or a portion of the proceeds, not all. Yes. <laughs> Good, I have to call somebody. Yeah. Um, from the performance on March 16th, um, go to Theros Place. We'll be there. We are selling special tickets with VIP seating. Mm -hmm. We've come up with a special cocktail to serve yes. before. So um, looking forward to this partnership. Um, and I've never seen one, so I'm looking forward to seeing it for the first time. How did this come together? How did, 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 did who approached whom? Actually, I think we approached each other. We were talking about something completely unrelated, but one of the founding principles of Savannah Rep was, was our charity partnership. I think uh, in, in a city like this, 501c3s grow together and in no other way. They must grow together. And uh, so from the very beginning of the company, there had always been a partner with every show and this being the biggest show we've ever done and us really wanting to up the game uh, we approached uh, Julie someone I've had a lot of respect for for a long time and, and said I think this is the show to partner on uh, it's a show that is not necessarily filled with the topics and themes of Theros plays but what we can provide is a Broadway level evening of music and theater and and the opportunity to have the message heard inside of that and for folks who aren't familiar with the show or the musical itself it's not this grand scale lots of big sets and everything else it is a kind of a scaled back performance and, it, and it, you feel like you're in a very intimate concert with these people. Yes, and it's 12 actor musicians. Everyone on stage is playing every note that you're going to hear. And it was always funny on, on Broadway, we would get uh, approached after the show all the time. And they'd say, well, you know, where's the orchestra? And we're like, no, you just saw the orchestra. They're like, no, you all were faking it. No, the 12 people you'll see on stage, two thirds, actually three quarters of whom are all local to Savannah, are going to be playing every note you hear. And uh, it's a small show that gets really big at times and then can get really intimate. And since we're on stage at the Trustees, which I, I've always thought is one of our beautiful local houses, it's going to uh, go between that intimate and that grand. And you were talking about your, your lead, uh, that, that folks may be familiar with her name? Yes, well, they'll be familiar with her name. They may not know that she's a local now. Uh, Stacey Orico is playing the lead role of Girl. She's a Grammy nominee. She charted several times on the Billboard Top Tens. Uh, and like so many people, uh, she and her husband came here for, uh, for their life and for their family. And she thought it was time to get back on the stage. And this was the show. And another wonderful opportunity to have charity partnership on a show like this. We're bringing in our big guns, and we, we are really trying to raise awareness that we think that Savannah can grow uh, together as a community. And I know awareness, you guys are, are fighting for that, pushing for that, uh, to not only raise the awareness, but to meet the needs of, of people who are involved in this right now. That's right. And don't worry, the only thing I'll be doing on stage is accepting a check. There'll there. be no music or <laughs> acting from me. That's what she keeps saying. <laughs> I'm waiting for the song. I'm going to teach her a song between now and we'll see what happens. When <laughs> well, we thought we were going to... just went way down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was waiting on a little line from you, but I guess we're going to have to wait until... Uh, That's until what you have to pay to for say. the ticket price for, yeah. <laughs> All right, Ryan, Julie, thank you all so much thank for being so much here today. Us. Looking forward to that show coming up on March 16th. And then the 17th, of course, is St. Patrick's Day. Losing an oak but gaining a symbol of hope.